Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we have some really cool interior sci-fi corridor terrain to look at from LV427. And uh, this is a really cool set. This is the, the prison corridors, uh, your cell blocks, your detention uh, center. This is very, very cool stuff. So uh, a big thanks to LV427 and also to Midwest Token 3D who actually made these prints and uh, sent them out. So if you want to get any of this stuff printed yourself, I'm going to have links down in the description below. Also, if you're new here, I am still doing that big 50,000 subscriber giveaway. It's for a lightsaber. If you want to win a lightsaber, I want to hear from you guys. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Uh, I'd love to hear your favorite kind of setup for interior terrain, whether it's for Star Wars Legion or for 40K or for zombie side or for uh, you know alien or something like that let me know like what you do with interior terrain or if you haven't done anything yet what you think you might do that'd be pretty cool um, so we're actually gonna be looking at uh, a really cool set here this is uh, I've got a lot of it set up we're gonna look at the individual pieces but I just kind of want to give you guys a full sort of setup of, of this interior uh, corridor terrain uh, this is the this is the prison uh, the prison setup and and we can it's, it's got really cool round doors in here right like like look at these doors and you can you can drop them in and uh and drop them out we can there we go just like that we've got wookies back here we've got some cool stuff uh it just i love i love the way you can drop the doors in and drop the doors out um just like right here we got we got awesome doors all of a sudden boom we've got more droids over there you know and i kind of set up like a little scene sort of reminiscent of the mandalorian uh doing like a prison break scene so i have some mandos kind of breaking off some wookies and some other mandos in here and then some some droids kind of guarding the prison ship maybe this is a prison ship maybe this is a base maybe you're on the death star and you're going to re rescue Princess Leia. But, you know, there's a lot you can do and different ways that you can configure these. But let's go ahead and fast forward uh, to looking at some of the individual um, in, in the individual rooms and how modular they are. If you haven't already seen any of my other LV427 videos uh, or any other terrain or product reviews, again, all that stuff is over on Kravok.com. Uh, also, if you can get more if you subscribe or if you want to join the Discord, we have a big section, a big video library in the Discord as well. I want to thank you all for uh, checking out those links. And uh, we're not done yet. we got a lot of these to look at. At, so let's go ahead and take a close-up look all right so first off we're gonna look at the two-way corridor this is basically the new sci-fi uh, star wars inspired uh kind of corridor system these have wider doorways wider hallways and uh, are definitely uh, a really cool variation on the lb 427 uh you know kind of more alien inspired uh scenes that we've seen before um, and one of the great things about these is you have these wider doors that kind of represent uh, they're closer to blast doors and things you might see on the Death Star or a Star Destroyer or even uh, even other types of Imperial ships. And of course, they kind of they have this indentation in right here, so the doors will slide in and slide down, no problem, especially when grouping two of them together. Uh, I've got another two-way corridor right here, and as you can see, their doors are going to slide in and out really easy this is super i mean you don't even have to glue or magnetize any of this stuff although you can if you want to make it a little more permanent but but they're i mean they're heavy enough uh pieces and there's a lot of uh a lot of substance to them that you know just dropping a door in isn't going to disrupt your your, your bigger setup so uh so that's really cool you can pull them out really easy uh for like rpgs or other things like that uh or even if you're playing a scenario that has an action where people can open a door now this particular piece uh is a great uh you know conjunction or con conjoining piece conjunction I'm, i think that's just a new word conjunction con conquaction it's a, it's a conquaculator, um, but what, what this does is, um, it, you know, has a more narrow door section here, so this can be good for like a turbo lift or something like that, or if you have any of the other uh, pieces that don't have these wider doors and you want to have it a, a regular connection to them, you can have this here, and this is going to fit the uh, the smaller doors, and uh, you know, of course, you can always just use this piece up to one of those also it's still gonna work you know it's 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 still um it still fits in there it's just not like you know not perfect for for some folks so, so depending on you know if you want the you know this piece or this piece you know depending on what types of terrain you have this one's going to be kind of like that bridge to all of the uh the more narrow doored pieces whereas 
If you're going with the wider door pieces, well, we got more of those to look at too. We've got our four-way connector here. Um, by the way, this the, the the floor plating, the floor grating on this is also really, really cool. Uh, I like the big X symbols, and of course, you got some of the grates in there too, and that's going to be a common theme throughout. Uh, so a very, very nice looking. Uh, I like that, and of course, we do have the uh, indented sections here, so you can have uh, closed doors all around. I have a three-way right here that we're going to be looking at. Uh, the three ways got again. It's got uh, pretty sleek, smooth lines. It's very kind of uh, very Star Warsy, uh, very science fictiony, but uh, you know, like really nice for like a more of a polished uh, metallic uh, wall structure, or maybe even bright white if you're going for something like that. Um, and uh, and we got like computer panels here on the walls. We've got uh, some lighting sections and some. Uh, parts where you can kind of connect in there uh, we can kind of set that up and you can kind of build these we've got uh, you know just about every permutation that you can think of we got our uh, our curved uh, two-way right here um, and of course you know you, you all of these are gonna work perfectly with the door system let me get it in there there we go um, but the door systems pretty nice we can just drop these in boop. and boop. Very, very easy, and just like that. And then, of course, our character's like, well, which path do we, which door do we open first? You know, boom, surprise, there's Wookiees behind there. Bum, 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 boom. So, you know, I I'm playing too much, maybe. We should keep going with the review. <laughs> uh, we've got some dead end pieces also. Uh, so this is kind of like your standard dead end, uh, which is a nice thing to put on. We also have our, our kind of command center dead end piece. Uh, and this is this one kind of reminded me of, of of Mandalorian, where like the pilot was in here. Like if this was a prison ship, uh, this could definitely be uh, you know like a, where you have the pilot hanging out, kind of controlling, flooding the courses. You have a lot of computers, a lot of terminals in here, so a lot of screens up on the top. Uh, but it's also very wide and, and big. So like again, I really like this new style. You have a lot more room, a lot more open space to kind of drop your area terrain and your other little pieces in there if you want that and if not if you just want the freedom of movement uh, to fit those maneuver tools if you're playing a game of legion or something like that um, you know these these work really well for that so um, so this can be a lot of different things this can even be maybe that maintenance uh, room where like uh, Luke and Han you know kind of got their armor on and 3PO and R2 stayed behind and and stuff like that and you just be put the door in there and no no problem you know like that that all works out really really cool but this is just the the basic corridors to get you to the detention levels so looks look at the the cell the prison cell specific pieces all right so the uh, the prison cells are actually really cool because you're actually getting two rooms in a single piece and uh, and I like that and you have the small little porthole style doors there uh, so I thought that was really groovy uh, you've got their little bed here and uh, and of course maybe a little a little uh, a little table there so they're not going to have a whole lot of room in there but you actually do have a room enough room in in any given one of these to fit like I can fit a whole um, whole bunch of Wookies in here you know I can fit a whole a whole uh, a whole unit a whole unit's worth of Wookies in here you know that's four minis with uh, with extra room. You know, they can move around, I can probably fit five. I can probably fit six minis in there too, and plus you can put some up on the bed if you needed to. Um, so like, there's a lot of room in here in each one, and so you can load up both sides sort of like that. And uh, well, what are you gonna do uh, with these rooms? So we got a couple of rooms here. Maybe we're gonna, we'll just build like kind of one side. Uh, we've got these uh, same type of corridors, but then they have, of course, the, uh, the access port. And it even says cell block on there, really cool. Um, no number specific for the cell block. Um, now, because these do have a little ridge right here, you're not going to be able to use the big long doors, but of course they come with these very, uh, very uh, Star Wars inspired doors. And of course there's also a little bit of, like a little bit of like you can see through right there, which is pretty cool. You see me, woo! So, so you can go ahead and you can see the, your Wookiee's faces and, and those slide in perfectly. So here we go. Zoop. And, and voila, and then you want to just kind of grab them, pull them up, and oh, simple as that. 
We also have a double sided, so if you really want to do kind of like this is literally like the seam, you want to have tentacles coming out. Um, you can you can definitely do that uh, if you want to have um, oh, oh like like uh, from episode seven with like the rat tars tentacles were coming out. So we can line up like two prison corridors kind of on that side. And in the opening scene that I had before, I uh, I kind of had set had set this up, but we don't have to do it that way either. We can we can do all kinds of. So, uh, of interesting kind of ways to set all of this up, and, uh, and and you can have so much fun with this too. Like, there's so many different ways you can build a prison block. You can do a, an entire prison level, um, which is really fun. You can have like a little turbo lift that kind of takes you to the prison level and really kind of create like the the siege of the Death Star or uh, from Episode Four or uh, or any of the other scenes from the Mandalorian. There's a lot of interior battles that happen in there. There's just so much really cool stuff that you can uh, do with this. And I've got one more really cool little spoiler for you. All right, now I'm curious how many of you guys know what this is. This is actually something I hinted at a long time ago and I was really pleased to see LV-427 kind of start to dip their toes into uh, Star Trek inspired stuff. Uh, since we're doing so many uh, sci-fi different genres on our tabletops these days, um, I thought this would have been the coolest little side piece to have available for just about any type of terrain because this is a holodeck door and uh and you can you know like this is the arch so if you've ever watched star trek especially star trek the next generation with all the holodeck episodes like they could be in the middle of like some kind of medieval adventure or some you know any kind of you know adventure they, that they want they could pause and just say computer arch and poof, this would appear anywhere so if you're like me and you're just like hey you know what we're out on the grass somewhere and, and you can like you just have like a, a holodeck arch kind of as a piece of terrain like just signifying like oh this is all just a, a simulation you know so i've got some some of the uh these are i've had these for a little while but have some star trek minis <laughs> if, you're, hey, if you're doing star trek stuff too you can even use this same terrain and just kind of have this like like right there just have it materialize for your rpgs too like, this is perfect to set the sta stage for any Star Trek. Uh, I know Modiphius has a Star Trek RPG that's out there. And so, uh, you know, like, that's, I think, believe what these uh, minis are from. So you want to just drop a holodeck arch into anywhere, boom, you're done. You've got it set up. Whether it's Wild West and Worf and his son are playing the sheriff and uh, deputy or, uh, uh, what is that, Fistful of Datas? Yeah, yeah, like any of that stuff. So I just thought this was really, really cool. So if you stayed to the end of the video, you got a cool little sneak preview of uh, some of the new Star Trek for the, uh, I think, the USS Endeavor uh, line that they're working on. Uh, so so definitely check out LV-427. Very cool stuff. I will talk to you guys soon. Big thanks to Midwest Token 3D and LV-427 for making this review possible. Check out the links in the description below. If you just want to get the STL files, you can do that. If you want to get this printed, you can do that. There's going to be lots of different links depending on where you are living right now. There are print partners uh, all over the globe. So check out some of those links and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. I want to thank you all so much. And as always, have a great day.